What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we. Well, we captured a legendary bird Pokemon, you know, Rainbow Chicken. Probably should have nicknamed it that. And now it is time for us to go to Route 27, and right here, because yes, it is finally time to go straight to the Pokemon League. And well, this guy has noticed something. Did you know what you just did? You just took your first step into Kanto. Now, when I first played Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, I didn't know what Kanto was. And as soon as I looked at the map, I was like, no friggin' way. We're back in the old region. I didn't even know the old region was called Kanto. Honestly, I think they just made it on the fly right there. I don't even think they named it in red, blue, and yellow. Yeah, I just didn't... I, I don't think so, but... Yes! We're in Kanto, and now it is finally time for us to go straight to the Pokemon League because... Well, we already got all, all eight badges. We captured uh, Ho-Oh, and now... It's just, it's just a matter of time for us to just be the Pokemon League champion. And look at that, we got ourselves a rare candy, which is great. And, uh, well, let us just swim away. Now, as you guys already noticed, yes, this is going to be a damn near 35 minute long video because, well, we're not just going through this section right here. We're going to be going through the whole entire section, meaning Victory Road as well. Because I just realized there's no trainers except for your rival at Victory Road. So we're going to be battling a lot now. As you can see, we are here at a waterfall, and there's an item right there. Now, how do we get that item, and is that a hole? Probably. I don't know, but we kind of went through the wrong area of the waterfall. No, no, no. Okay, we, we, we crossed it. Crossed it, okay. But we're crossing here into the Tojo Falls right now, and there is a stairway leading to another area right here. Now, if, you, if you've noticed closely, there is a cave right there. Or a small crevice, hole, whatever, crater. Now, if you go through here, this area will have a radio. Now, this right here is a, it no longer works. But this area is a of big significance because later on, we will be doing events of this Pokemon game. And trust me, there is, or there are a lot of events in this, in this game. One of the biggest events actually reveals... The origin of a specific trainer that, you know, we all know and love and hate and all that crud. Yeah. You'll see soon. Maybe in the summer. I don't even know, guys. But you guys will see. Now, let's see. We're going to be switching it out. Let's go right ahead and go with Cinder right here because uh, we already know who we're going to be battling first. Might as well use the guy, the good old Cinder, to start defeating everybody right here. Everybody. I mean everybody. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about a few things that I've uh, recently uh, found out about. Hmm. Well, bo the new Pokemon Snap game is coming out this ne this next month, probably. Pro towards the end of the month, right? I would like to say so. That is why we're coming out with, with our old Pokemon Snap walkthrough with sidebars and all that stuff. And I'm actually glad that you guys liked it. You know, it's not the most popular game in all that crud, but it is still something. It really is still something, but that is going to be a weekend-only thing for the month of April, and uh, hopefully we continue with the momentum right here, guys. Finally found some time to actually get stuff done. The studio is coming along nicely. I'm currently uh, recording stuff right here into my room, but eventually I will show you guys a video of the new studio that I've actually came out with, or, you know, that I'm actually... Uh, that I actually acquired, I should say. Now, more changes is to more changes will come in the month of May. One being that, well, by the end of this month, right here, football see one of my football seasons will end. So that's more time for myself, you know, relax, breathe, and all that stuff. And why is my mom calling me? I don't know. And if you talk to this lady right here, yes, she says that you're going to the Pokemon League. Oh, let me see if you're Pokemon loyal. They love you. Here is the gift to your journey, and you get yourself a TM37, which I believe is Sandstorm. Yes, it is, and it will inflict your Pokemon or your opponent if they are not ground or steel type. Very good move. Very, very, very good move right there. Now, normally I would fuck up right here, and I made a transition. What was the reason for this transition? Oh, because I forgot a, a little something something. Yeah, probably. I don't even know. But let's move on right here, guys. So... Another thing that I've noticed, too, is... Well, let's see. What have I noticed? Oh, yes. 
in the last two the last two videos that I've posted up I've been saying this like crazy and it's mainly because I'm excited guys I'm very very excited for this but while I was looking at my Pokemon snap video and you know looking at the comments and all that stuff of course I had one troll dealt with that troll nice mustache by the way and uh, I looked at another comment right there and it happened to be from a significant someone light dark neutral now if you guys don't know who light dark neutral is light dark neutral was one of the first few youtubers big youtubers big bulky tubers to come out with pokemon walkthroughs and i mean big walkthrough guys uh this this is more around the time of super skarmory and luroy and all that stuff and Light Dark Neutral was pretty much the reason to why I got into YouTube in the first place. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned about how I, like, how I haven't played Pokemon games in about five to six years, mainly because I've been playing sports, focusing on school and all that stuff, and then I got curious, and I went on to YouTube, and the first thing I saw was a Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough game of uh, Light Dark Neutral. And that was actually the first time I have ever even you know, realized that they made remakes for the Pokemon's Gold, Silver, Crystal era. And because of him, I had the crazy idea back in 2010 to start off the new year with a Pokemon walkthrough, Pokemon walkthrough channel. Uh, like Dark Neutral, of course, happens to be one of the very first YouTubers that, you know, didn't exactly do his YouTubing uh, videos on emulator. He actually did them on uh, camera. Might have not been the best quality, but still, he did the best he could, best job he could, and all that stuff, and he did a great job at it, because the intro, the outro, the way he handled himself on the videos, bam, they were all great, and they, and you know, if, if they were still here, they would still be great, and all that crud, too. And, uh, well, early on, early on uh, today, which is, uh, what you would call it, uh, yes, April 12th, 2021, I have had a talk with uh, Light Dark Neutral himself, Mr. Fur himself, and yeah, we had a, a, a nice discussion. I told him, man, I am excited that he is back, mainly because he's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber now, and I just had to ask a few questions and all that stuff, and you know what? I am so glad that he is back. I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad that things went well along the way, his time off on YouTube and all that stuff. So glad, and uh, yeah, he is willing and ready to able to actually start making videos again. Kind of sucks that you know he couldn't recover his old videos, but you know, with the help of us, you the, the YouTubers, you know, the old YouTubers that know who he is, we can get his channel back up to where it used to be. So again, the link to his channel is going to be down right here on the description, and bam, right there on my channel, you will actually see the uh, well, you'll actually see his a. Uh, his logo right there light dark neutral now gotta tell you guys he is from Mexico English is not his first language but hey we can still understand him he is still very entertaining he is still very knowledgeable about this whole game that's that's what brought me to him because he was very very knowledgeable about the games and he thought of different ways to actually defeat Pokemon trainers around here and all that stuff that you know what that's what attracted me to his channel so Again, guys, like Dark Neutral, he is back, and subscribe to his channel. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we get all those subscribers back because I remember he had a, a, at least like a hundred thousand subscribers. He was one of the very first big YouTuber, PokeTuber guys and stuff. And you know what? We need to make him big again because damn, it has been a while. It's like it's like waking up Captain America. He's missed so much in the last how many years, and then bam. He has to relearn and everything, but this guy right here doesn't have to relearn anything. He just has to, you know, get back on that thing again. So, again, light, dark, neutral, comment, subscribe, all that stuff to his channel and all that stuff. So now, let's go back right here onto this game. And, well, look at this. We are taking on a Giraffe Rig, and, uh, you know, Giraffe Rig has always been a crazy Pokemon to me because I never really knew that it was actually a, uh, whatchamacallit, a normal type Pokemon. It's a combination of normal and psychic, and yeah, right here, me thinking close combat could actually defeat him and all that stuff. He could say goodbye to Giraffe Rig, and well, look at that. Cinder has grown to level 39. Now we're gonna be taking on some execute, execute, I should say, and uh, well, we're gonna be uh, going back to talk to Batman right now. Now, 
There is another thing that you guys have noticed onto my channel right here too is the uh, the return of some walkthroughs that you know I said that I would have to put a pause on. Well, I have found time. I have found plenty of time to do many many things. Part of that time was actually in my studio, and you know what? It turns out that you know me having all my work in one central location it was a very very good idea. So like I said, guys. Once I get that whole studio situated and stuff, there's going to be a lot more walkthrough videos coming out and hopefully, just hopefully, we can actually see newer walkthroughs, you know, the ones that I promised, Pokemon Coliseum, still itching to play that game, really, really itching to play that game, so hopefully we'll get that going and then, uh, of course, the new Pokemon Snap video will be coming out by the start of the next month, that way, you know, you guys can see, I'm up to date and all that crap. Now, I am still doing some work on Pokemon Sword and Shield, putting my Pokemon in Pokemon jobs and all that stuff, so don't worry guys, those videos will be coming out, they will be narrated and they will be edited uh, to the best of my ability. A lot of great changes is coming guys, it really is, I'm just excited, very very excited, super excited that I've invested in this kind of stuff right here, so yeah, here we go with Staryu getting defeated, and look at that, Staryu has been defeated, what's up, Love Bolt? Getting more points, Cinder 2. And, well, she's coming out with a neat arena, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Relic right here. Now, in the last episode, Relic, or no, 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 actually, two episodes ago, Relic was the MVP of this whole video because it was the only Pokemon that survived that whole uh, Kimono Girl thing. It really was, and it was kind of scary, too. Very scary. And, well, it survived. Relic became uh, the MVP, and, well, it was poetic that, you know, an evolution defeated the evolution girls and all that stuff. Or the Komodo girls. So there it is, we defeated Rika, and, well, she wants to get our number because she wants to battle us. She thinks this whole battle was a fluke, so, yeah, might as well give her our number. Uh, I guess so, I guess so. So there it is, we got our number, yeah, yeah, and, well, now we're going to be moving on right here, and, well, here we are in Route 26. Battling some more Pokemon trainers. Now, the majority of the battles are going to be right here in the very beginning of this whole video. Going into the uh, going into Vol or going to the Victor Road, you won't be seeing a lot. The, the most you'll be able to see is an Ursaring gear, Don Fan there, and then you're going to be taking on your uh, your rival himself. Which you know, of course, if you have the right team, you'll be able to defeat him and all that crap. And well. Let's go right ahead and just continue battling these these Pokemon. Off screen, I will be well. This is pre-recorded, so off screen, I have trained my Pokemon to a good level just so we can take on the Elite Four. Trust me, guys, the Elite Four is going to be a crazy one. Uh, believe it or not, too, that Elite Four battle or you know the Elite Four challenge is going to be an all-in-one video. That way, we can get it over and done with. 40 episodes in all, guys. We finally reached the end of the first main game right here, right? Yeah. First main game. And, well, Quillfish has been defeated. Look at that. I am feeling good about myself, guys. Oh, yeah. And Fisherman Scott defeated. Oh, yes. He, he's not happy at all. So, let us move on right here. Now, I transitioned into this area right here, too, because uh, when I took a picture with this guy... A glitch happened again where my Pokemon weren't seen so if you guys see tr uh, transitions from here and there it's because again I don't necessarily know I haven't researched it very much but in Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold there is a bit of a glitch where if you play the game a little too long the sprites start turning into like uh, missing O's missing nose or whatever so the good thing is that you can save the game restart the game and then BAM back where you were that's pretty much the reason why there's a lot of transitions and whatnot. So, here we go. Switching out our Pokemon or giving some, uh, putting on some repels because we do not want to mess with any of these Pokemon right here. And, yes, here we are. Taking another trainer and she's like, look at all those badges. And she says, we're not satisfied. Yes, we are not satisfied right now. So, here we go. Oh, wow, it's a guy. His name is Vernon. My bad for genderizing. My bad. And, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. This is a risky move, but let's go with a bite attack. Hopefully this defeats Espeon. 
and nearly does it, but as oh wow, Espeon has flinched. So let's go with the U-turn just in case we screw up. That happens to be super effective. Espeon has been defeated, and well, Toxic Batman will, uh, will of course go back into the team. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, so let's see. Moving on forward, we are going to let's see. Find a house right there. Of course, this house is a healing house where you can actually heal your Pokemon midway. But technically, midway was way back there and all that stuff. So, here we go, taking on uh, Joyce, the Ace Trainer, and she will be coming out with her Pikachu. One of the biggest things that really ticked me off early on in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal was the fact that you couldn't get Pikachu in the Johto region. It was more of a rarity and all that stuff. The only way you could have gotten a Pikachu in Crystal was through the Pokemon Egg. If you guys remember, uh, the random egg that I got from the the Pokemon uh, Daycare Center happened to hatch into an Elekid. Now that's a rare Pokemon right there. Now, don't necessarily remember how many steps it takes to actually get a Pichu, but I think you do get a Pichu in one of those uh, in one of those instances and all that stuff. But me getting an Elekid and then actually getting it to become uh, what was it, Kid Thunder and all that stuff. Kind of amazing. It was an impromptu, uh, impromptu selection for my Pokemon team right there. And well, here we go. Discharge. Can it do it? Will it do it? Come on, finish off Blastoise. Come on, finish off Blastoise. And Blastoise has been defeated. Yes, sir, Rebub. Look at that. I'm not feeling good so right now. And Cinder finally crosses the level 40 threshold right there, and she does not believe this whole this whole loss right now. Okay, so again, more apricorns. You gotta love those apricorns. And here we found ourselves a blue apricorn. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, I don't even bother using the apricorns or, you know, changing them and everything because, well, yeah. The Pokeballs that, you know, that are offered here, you know, the Luck Ball, a Moon Ball, and all that stuff, don't necessarily work as well. Except for maybe the Heavy Ball when it comes to Snorlax and stuff. Now, now that we're all healed, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And, well, there is something that I kind of want to show you guys right here. Uh, maybe not. I kind of want to get through this whole area because there are quite a few Ace Trainers. I think there's like two more that we need to beat before we can actually get to the next level right here. But here we go. Ace Trainer Gavin wants the battle coming with his victory bell. You guys got to love these Ace Trainers. You really do. You have to love these Ace Trainers because they do have a nice variety of Pokemon. And, well, let's go with the Psybeam. Yeah, Psybeam does its trick. Look at that. The Psybeam. Mm hmm. Psybeam does its trick. Relic has a more experience points right there. And well, he's going to be coming out with a Flareon, which is always great too. So let's go right ahead and, uh, well, switch out our Pokemon. And well, let's see. What can we do right here? Let's see. Flareon going against Nessie. And uh, we already know who's going to win that one right there. So. Let's go ahead and use a waterfall attack. And can it do it? Will it do it? Can it do it? Maybe. Yes, it can. And look at that. Say goodbye to Flareon. Again, never talk crap on the Flareon because it might surprise you at some point. And, well, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Now, the, the great thing about battling Ace Trainers is the variety of Pokemon. This will actually give your Pokemon enough... Well, you know, a nice variety of Pokemon to battle with and all that stuff. I said variety a lot. Do not care. So here we go. Thunder Punch. Let's get this. Thunder Punch for the win. And, well, of course, Kingler is just, like, surviving right here. It's in survival mode. In survival mode. And, well, of course, the static will get it. So let's finish this guy off right now. Let's get it. Look at that. And it, well, of course, Kingler just protects itself. So, last ditch effort. Let's go right ahead and bam. Look at that. Say goodbye to Kingler. Okay, alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so there goes Gavin. He is not happy at all. And well, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right now with getting his phone number two because he might be a good battle. My, he might be a good, uh, you know, a, opponent to take on right here. So, let's go ahead and move on right now, because we got more stuff to do. Let's see. Like this guy. 
battling this guy. Okay. Let's see what we got. Another Ace Trainer, and this guy happens to be... Well, his name is Jake and all that crud. Coming out with a Parasect. Now, the only trainer that I know that could actually use a Parasect... He's about to get defeated right here with a side beam. He's not feeling good right now. Look at that. Side beam. Nearly takes out Parasect, but here comes a Swords Dance. He's gonna one swipe me right here. Holy crud. Okay, one hit swipe. Let's go with another side beam. Finish this guy off. Come on, and there we go. Parasect has been defeated. Oh yes. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, of course, he's going to be coming out with a Vaporeon, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now, I kind of feel like the next few Ace Trainers have uh, Evolutions all around. I think we did face one with an Ombreon. I think we already took a Flareon on. So we, we might be taking on a Jolteon and stuff now. Here we go. Thunder Punch. Let's get it. Thunder Punch for the win. Let's go. Come on. Say goodbye to Vaporeon. What now? Okay. Alrighty. Look at that, and Fluffle goes back to, or goes to level 41, becoming our strongest Pokemon yet again. Again, guys, off screen, I will be training these Pokemon. We got a mission, we got a mission going into the Pokemon League. They are strong, not as strong as the last one, but strong. And here comes a Water Pulse, and, oh crud, Fluffle, of course. Takes a nice hit, but here goes a Discharge Attack, and what will it do? Come on, Golduck, just faint. Faint already! Yes, it has fainted. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. And, well, Trainer... Trainer Jake has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, so... Of course, her mom's gonna be calling us. She's buying stuff with our money. I guess that's what we signed up for. Having our mom buy some interesting stuff. Some will help, some will not. And here's the last age trainer. And, well, let's see. She lost to a red-headed Pokemon and... Oh, wow. <laughs> She was basically describing his uh, his his style of, uh, of training and all that stuff. Win at all costs Pokemon and all that. So let's go with Nessie yet again. And uh, let's go ahead and just beat this Rapidash to a pulp now. Rapidash will be hitting us first. Look at this. Will-O-Wisp. Kind of scary. Kind of burning. And here we go. Surf attack. Finish him. And look at this. Rapidash has been defeated. Oh, yes. Thank God he hasn't used his, uh, his uh, bounce attack right there. Now, here we are, Nessie growing into level 39, and, well, Cinder has grown to level 40, uh, well, 41 right there, and, of course, we're getting hurt. So now, coming out is Flaffy, so let's go ahead and avoid that like the plague, and let's go ahead and just use a different Pokemon, like Relic right here, because Relic, strong Pokemon, good vibes, about to destroy the crud out of Flaffy right here. So here we go, Sabium attack. For the win. And we'll look at that. Flaffy has survived. And it will have paralyzed us. Great. We are getting paralyzed. Not cool, man. Not cool. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just stay paralyzed and all that stuff because we have synchronized and we can't move. And great. A cotton spore which will deduct our speed just a tad bit more. Let's go right ahead. Psybeam, come on. Finish him, and there goes Flappy. What now? What now, Flappy? And, well, that is another trainer defeated. I am feeling great. This transition right here, we're actually going to have to heal our Pokemon because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of need to heal our Pokemon. We don't have enough uh, items, I guess. Or I don't want to use enough items and all that stuff. So, before we go into the tra transition, let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a Max Elixir definitely useful for any of those long battles or long periods of battles and well let's go right back up and no more repel and yes we are going to be transitioning right about now right now okay so we held up our pokemon everything's good now it is time for us to actually move on right here and well as you can see the gatekeeper is like only the only the Pokemon trainers that have proven their, themselves worthy can come here. Right here, this leads to Kanto. Of course, we can't go there right now, which of course will lead you to the strongest Pokemon out there. So here it is, guys. Victory Road. And, well, there's quite a few things that you do need. Rock Smash. Uh, strength. And that's about it. Nothing else. There are no trainers in here except for Pokemon. Such a big letdown, I'll tell you that right now. It really is. 
Now there are there are some items right here that you can get. I think you can get an extra rare candy here in a TM. And well, we're gonna be moving some boulders right here because why not? Let's let's move some boulders. And well, let's see. Going right here, going right here, and right here. We are gonna find our first item of many. Look at that. We found ourselves a potion. What is a potion gonna do for us right here? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. There is an item right there. Two items. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, we went the wrong way. I don't think there's going to be a weekend person right here. Could be wrong. And here we have a full heal. Definitely something, a, a, an item that we need. And well, like I said, guys, there are no trainers. Now, this would be a little bit longer if there was trainers. But unfortunately, there are no trainers. And I think we have to make a choice right here. So... Let's go right ahead and use a Super Repel yet again. Just that way we don't get bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. Let's see, move that. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a Max Revive. One of the few Max Revives that you'll, have, you'll eventually find here in this game. And, well, let's see. There's another stairway. Let's go. Let's get this. Alrighty, so we can't go there. And, left and right, no items. Now, like I was saying before, I was using a handbook, but I think at this point, I, you know, I already knew where everything was. And here we found an extra Max Revive. Definitely going to use that one for, you know, we're definitely going to use that for, uh, whatchamacallit, the main battles right here in the Pokemon League. If not, you know, the big battle. The eventual battle. At the very, very, very end. And, well, another Repel has worn off, so let's go right ahead and use another one. And, well, this is what I mean by yeah this is what I mean by uh, by by yeah by using strength and whatnot oh no actually that's wrong oh yeah by strength right here you can actually you're gonna have to actually move these boulders and yeah there's a lot of choices that you have to make right here now if you push this way beyond where the rock is you won't be able to get the item but if you guys push this down the middle you'll be able to get the item and then get to the middle uh, section right there of the stairway and here we go, grabbing ourselves a full restore, which is also great. Nice, nice. And here we are moving this back and keep on going forward. Look at this. We're finding some more stuff. And, well, let's see. I think we're towards the end right here. Now, I don't want to go through the hole right there yet, but looks like we're going to have to go through the hole. There is an item that we can actually get. And, uh, oh, would you look at that? We're back in action right here. And... Holy crud, okay, so yes, go to the side right there. And now we're gonna be grabbing Oh, well, I see an item up there. Fail to realize that. And well, let's see. Our repel has worn off. And we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon right here. Now just to give you guys a little bit of an insight. Eventually, I'm going to be switching over some uh, recording recording systems. And eventually, I'm going to be editing a lot more like the random Pokemon that, you know, attack us. You won't be seeing those any longer. I'm actually going to be putting a little bit more effort into the games. That way, we don't get attacked by most of, the, most of these Pokemon right here. Now, let's see. I did miss an item, but the main item that we want to get is around here somewhere. And, well, we're going through holes just to get to the item. And crud baskets, I think... Oh, there it is. Okay, so look at this. We grabbed this, found ourselves the TM26 Earthquake, a very, very powerful ground type move. Now let's move up. Let's see what can happen right here. Okay, so of course everything's coming up, and let's see what we can actually find. Nothing right here. So we're just be crossing over, and let's see what can we actually find right now. Okay, so now we actually have to go through here where there's gonna be a, uh, you know, rock smash areas. But if you go right here. You will get encountered by your rival himself, and he's asking you, are you going to be challenging the Elite Four? Which, of course, it's true, and he's calling Team Rocket spineless. Now, right here, you're kind of wondering, what is your beef with Team Rocket? I guess we're going to have to find out later, sooner rather than later. Like I said, guys, there's going to be a special event to find out about that. So, here we are taking on a Sneasel, level 36. Of course, we already know that this Sneasel's not going to have a chance against Cinder and his Lava Plume. Look at that. Lava Plume for the win. Say goodbye to Sneasel, even though it's not that fast or anything like that. Okay, so here comes a Feraligator, his starter Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out. Now, we do have the Pokemon to, de to defeat this guy. Yeah, 
we are prepared for him. We kind of know his team. We kind of know that he goes at random will. And don't want to toot my own horn, but yeah, we are better than this guy. We are literally better than this guy. They were not kidding when it said to uh, when they said that he he, he battles at an all win at all costs kind of uh, attitude right there. It really does. And well. For us right here, look at this. We are kicking butt, taking names. We're about to take a waterfall attack to the face. It's a little physical. And, uh, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Nearly defeats uh, Fluffolt right there. So let's go right ahead and use a discharge attack for the win. And look at that. For Alligator is no more. What now? What now? You didn't see that coming. And, well, of course, he wants to come in with Haunter, so let's go right ahead and use a Relic. Now, that might be a crappy idea, because Psychic and Ghost, yeah. But this Ghost type right here is also a Poison type, and we all know Poison types are weak against uh, Psychic uh, attack. So, here we go, Psybeam for the win. And, well, look at this. Haunter has been defeated. What now? Yeah, buddy. Relic for the win, and well, we're gonna continue this winning streak by Relic because uh, you know, Relic has been such a good Pokemon for us as of lately. Well, let's go for another Psybeam attack for the win. Oh, yes, Golbat. Yeah, you better shut that mouth right now. And wow, it survived, so now here it comes with a last ditch effort, Confuse Ray. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. It's about to uh, get a little crazier right here, so. Let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam. Come on. There we go. Psybeam for the win. What now? And look at that. Golbat has been defeated. I feel good. I feel great. And, well, he's got another Pokemon right here. He's coming out with his Magneton. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Hercules. Now, I haven't seen Hercules in quite some time. Well, it's only been like a minute or two. It has been. So let's go right ahead and take on... Magneton right here with a good old close combat. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that close combat. And there it goes the defenses. But guess what? It's okay. It is fine. We have won. And, well, look at this. Level 40 Hercules. That is awesome. And, well, let's go right ahead and use it. Well, Toxic Batman is going to come in. So let's go right ahead and just switch it out to Relic right now because it's about to grow to level 39. I kind of want to, you know, use a special move against this guy right here. His Kadabra. So let's go with a side beam to us and, well, let's go right ahead and just, uh, yeah, use this Shadow Ball, the Shadow Kamehameha for the win. And there we go. Shadow Ball has done it. Yeah, buddy. No more Kadabra. Feeling great about that. And, uh, well, here we are, level 39. And, well, that was pretty easy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how you, I, I don't know how you, I, how you guys have it, but there it is for the win. And now, he's just not, he, he hasn't given up on becoming the world's greatest trainer, but he will be challenging us yet again. And that is pretty much it for Silver for right now. It is finally time, guys. It is finally time. Here we are in the Indigo Plateau, and in the next episode, yes, we will be taking on the Pokemon League in its entirety. We're going to be finishing up this first part of this game tomorrow. See you guys.